Okay, folks, it's pissing down a little bit, or it's moderately raining now, so now we've got back the wet weather. Okay, let's see what we're going to do with this piece, um, this demo. This will be hopefully the last demo for the day. This will, I think this is the last demo for the day, if I am correct. If I haven't forgotten. I'm going to check just to see if I've got... No, I've got no more. I've got more. No more. My memory's no good. So we just checked. I think I just did this. Sorry, folks. I've got to flash the badges. That's what the toner heads do best. That's what toner heads, a toner head, the definition of a toner head is a, is basically a, a photocopier nerd or geek. And we photocopier nerds and geeks traditionally like to flash the name badges and the model number badges. That's how we, that's a part of our culture, folks. Uh, even though the features on the photocopiers are no longer specialised for much for the, it's pretty much of a muchness, although on the Konica Minolta machines, some machines have defeatured, uh, have been defeatured because they try to make it, you know, user friendly for the average person. But it's really quite a con because uh, you think that the features here, like you see me using, help me to manipulate the image the way I want it to look, the colour and all that, and having these features stripped away frustrates me creatively I get frustrated machines like the ones that office works are the defeatured versions of Konica and Minolta's machines in the old days you'd get more features and more exciting features nowadays you don't it's all about money it's all about shortcuts taking shortcuts to try to do it as easy as possible toner heads no longer have a say in how the copiers are designed they're no longer allowed to work in the industry so yeah but that's come that's what we're photocopying folks this health and beauty so we toner heads don't get any um any say in how these equipments are designed we no longer have a, a place in the industry the industry is full of piglets and swine and assholes and people i call monkeys who are not smart i don't i'm not using the word monkey as a racial term i'm using it to discriminate against these swine people who care about money and don't have much of an iq compared with a typical toner head and these swine just don't care they just want to make as much money out of shit as they can and do as little as possible it's really quite stingy what they're doing and quite mean-spirited but that's what they are. And this has come up looking a treat. I think we can work with that. Got to maybe just cut it down there. But basically the photocopy industry is just full of shit. It's all about smoke and mirrors and advertising and talking, using language like smart, saying Konica and Minolta call their printers smart. It's just bullshit. It's not smart at all. They're fucking dumb. Dumb printers, Konica, Minolta, dumb dumb stupid yeah you are fucking stupid you're all stupid you fucking conic a fucking minolta shitheads you and your fucking corporate greed you fucking witty idiots you don't know anything about copier design you know nothing about the industry you are a fucking bunch of ignorant twats and i'm gonna rub your face in your own fucking shit conic a minolta go fuck yourselves hate fucking money money fuckers they drive me nuts as a toner head my anger burns as a fucking toner head i'm gonna one day redesign the photocopier from scratch without your fucking help bitches you're not gonna fucking help me i'm not gonna fucking let you know what is in my fucking designs i'm doing it on my own folks i am going to go it alone i don't need the greed of conic a fucktard minolta and they are, they're fucktards, they're idiots. Fucking idiots, and I don't care. I'm going to redesign it from scratch, Conica. You're not getting a part of it. No, no, no. Kiss my ass, bitches. But basically, not just Conica Minolta, all the industry is under, is under my attack. I don't have any respect for any 
anyone in the industry, any of the players, they're all the same. They're all fuckwits. They're just a bunch of fucking losers that don't know how to build a decent copier system. And they think they can just use their smoke and mirrors, their fucking marketing and advertising to get to get a really good result, but that's bullshit. That's bullshit, folks. It's full of shit. These bitches in the industry really aggravate me. They really piss me off. I have no respect for them, folks. I have no fucking respect for the lot of them. They are idiots, folks. Just there for the money. Nothing more, nothing less. But in the old days, you'd always get different features and different makes and models would denote different features and it was really exciting folks I used to love the photocopier industry Uh, it's no longer a thing that I love anymore I actually hate it now it's full of assholes and that's it there's no there's no two ways about it and I'm not going to give up my dreams I'm not going to let these the restrictions of these companies get in my way because I'm going to be free to design it my way alone. And if these bitches want to pay me billions of dollars for my secrets, kiss my fucking ass, Konica and all the industry, the whole photocopier industry, kiss my ass, bitches. Kiss my fucking ass. Yep, kiss my ass. And even if you do kiss my fucking ass, I'm not giving you anything, fuckwits. Kiss my fucking ass. It's going to be really exciting when I build this system. It's going to be good for the planet. It's going to use a lot of recycled materials, mostly recycled as much as I can. It's going to make sure we don't have slave labour. We don't treat the skilled migrants as slaves we want to make this photocopier we want to design it it's got the company is going to be australian owned the des- the design is going to be australian designed and it's going to be australian made we are not sending this shit offshore to china or vietnam like this company does conic and dum dum minolta use use the slaves we're going to make sure these people get paid a decent wage yeah you know i know you fucking companies you're all a bunch of slave drivers and money fuckers i don't like this you can go kiss my ass and i'll fucking you buddy sit on this and gyrate you fucking sluts you think your fucking money rules your money loving rules no it sucks it sucks folks go fuck yourselves go fuck your stupid money stick it up your ass and gyrate bitches because i'm gonna make the best photocopier system on earth And I'll not give up. I am not giving up. Like the Olympians, I'm going to keep fucking training myself to believe in myself as much as in the future I'm going to build this thing. And I'm not going to let you fucking have it. You're not going to have any of it. It's up to me. It's up to me. I'm the boss. I'll be the CEO. And what I say goes. And if you think I'm going to one day roll over and die because I'm now 51 and the time clock's ticking. No. No. I'm, I'm going to be in the CEO's chair as long as I'm still able to do so. And I intend to do so until the fucking day I die. So you're going to have to fucking accept that you're not going to be able to poach my materials. It's up to you. It's up to, it's up to me. It's up to me and I'll do it my way. My fucking way or the highway, bitches. Go fuck yourself, sluts.